What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Silent Tech. Long time no see. If you're a basic, you might be interested in today's video. Today we're taking a look at the Antec P5 Silent case. And I gotta tell you, for a micro ATX budget case, it sure is, well, silent. First of all, if you're looking for a case to show off your build, you might want to look elsewhere. However, if you want a case that's going to sit to the side and be out of the way, look professional and stay quiet, then this is the case for you. It's a micro ATX form factor. However, it will support mini ITX boards as well. And the build that we went ahead and went with it is as follows. We have the MSI a 68 grenade of course for the motherboard and then we just have one of the older 7870s or 7890s Ooh, apus it's been a while we're gonna have to actually fully plug in the monitor to find out what it is we also have an rx 464 gigabyte in there by sapphire which looks really really clean and we have a 500 gigabyte sand disk uh, ssd that we mounted on the back now that's gonna be kind of the perspective that we're taking a look at this because really to do a good case review you need to do a build in the case so i went through and did a quick build montage and in the process i was able to go ahead and garner a few tips and pointers and of course get an idea of how the case performs and its build quality overall the build quality is quite nice both side panels do have sound dampening material on them as well as the front panel opening up the front panel you actually have your filter right there so the intake filter covers up an included 140 millimeter antec fan that even at 100 percent isn't that loud especially in this particular case now the reason i know that is because the the motherboard that we built with actually only has two fan headers so we had one for the cpu and one for the rear system fan so the front fan i actually used the included adapter that comes with the case to run off of just a molex so it's going to be running at 100 percent that being said it is nice that this case does include that and it also includes of course some zip ties for of course cable management and that sort of thing and the rest of the features are pretty impressive as well you can fit up to four two and a half drives if you have converters you could probably fit about six and just use the converters from the three and a half to two and a half uh, that being said you can only fit two three and a half in the hard drive cage that is removable so it's not riveted in you're going to be able to basically take a screwdriver phillips head remove six screws and pull that hard drive cage out which the final configuration for this build of course i did do that the PSU did fit with the hard drive cage in there and it is a large one. It's only fitting to put an Antec power supply in there. Unfortunately, the only one I have is quite expensive. It's a fully modular 850 watt high current gamer power supply. It's one of my favorite. I really love the finish and you can actually remove, of course, the outer edge. And I have built with, of course, the high current gamer without that little, I guess it's like a pinkish peach color. Anyways, it will fit in there. So a full size, of course, power supply will fit in there. And if you wanted to go even larger, just pulling out that hard drive cage will let you go ahead and do that. Now for this particular motherboard, one of the disappointing things about this case first reared its head and that was the stock placement of the motherboard standoffs. This one unfortunately did not come pre-configured for the motherboard that I had chosen to put in it. Now that meant I did have to remove the motherboard standoffs were actually quite stiff as well in there. So I had to grab some pliers because it did not include a motherboard standoff removal tool. Now, while I do have motherboard standoff removal tools, I was thinking at the budget and what you're gonna be working with, I would go ahead and try it because a lot of times what happens if you do use pliers and you're not careful is that if the paint is easy to scratch, you will scratch it. And that is something that we unfortunately did do on the case. We left a little bit of scratch on the motherboard standoff there by using those pliers. And just in verge style maybe i shouldn't say that i might get sued hmm. in verge style we used pliers now 
not in verse style we did not use the swiss army knife because well we didn't want to get sued so we went ahead and just used a phillips head screwdriver to mount the rest of the components the ssd mount you can mount either with the ssd facing out or of course facing the rear panel and that configuration is up to you however it comes pre-configured to face towards the rear panel seeing that there's not a glass side window here it's not really Really a big deal I prefer it probably being on the back side like that because it makes cable management a little bit cleaner speaking of cable management it is quite roomy for a micro ATX case that being said you don't have a PSU shroud to hide all of your mess in so you're gonna have to be quite savvy with your cable management and make sure that you tie them up towards the back because especially if you remove the hard drive cage there's a big see-through hole there not that you're going to be keeping the side off that much because it is much quieter with the side panel on the case does include of course zip ties for you to cable manage i would prefer something that isn't zip ties because it's a little bit better to use twisty ties in my humble opinion because then when you need to move some cables around or replace a component you're not having to cut a zip tie and then buy more that being said the inclusion of the zip ties is nice now the gpu cutouts are actually not punch outs which is a little bit more typical for a case on this price range so i'm happy to report that they are actual just removable pieces and so once you remove that i was able to put the gpu in place another nice feature here is that it does have cutouts to fit or slide your screwdriver through so that you can fasten the gpu in there without much trouble i was a little disappointed that there were not thumb screws for the gpu mounting but that's not that big of a deal as the side panels did include the thumb screws and i'm happy to report that they do have a phillips head on them as well as coming from the factory they weren't so stiff that i couldn't undo them with my fingers so i didn't actually have to use that little phillips head on those thumb screws which was quite nice overall i'm very impressed with this case speaking of the front io is lacking of course usb c but that being said you will still have two usb 3.0 ports your front audio headers and a power button that lights up now the front io did have a connector for an hdd light but i'm not sure where that is on the actual case itself just an interesting note finally let's talk about the case feet or the feet of the case the feet of the case the case standoffs either way they're silver so they do stand out a little bit apart from the rest of the case that being said they are fastened in by screws so they are removable which is really really nice a lot of other cases that are in this price range will actually have them either riveted in or put in with plastic clips those plastic clips break a lot having nice 30 feet on this option is great for of course the front intake it does have a perforated side on both sides of the case on the front panel there and while they appear sufficient by about two inches thick they actually aren't as the cutouts for the air that itself is only at the bottom quarter of the case and doesn't extend all the way to the front of the case meaning that your front intake isn't going to have near as much air as it might appear uh, right off the bat but of course if you're having overheating issues i guess you could just open the front panel and let the noise rain hope you guys enjoyed this video it feels super good to be back i stumbled through quite a bit but i hope this video was helpful for you huge shout out to antec of course for sending me the case and i hope to be back making videos this year i have quite a few things to cover the new dell not the new dell the old dell the revision of the old dell 144 hertz g-sync 1440p monitor that i just picked up and i'm super enjoying we have another acer predator 75 hertz 1080p FreeSync monitor that we need to get covered and we have an rx 590 so we have plenty of stuff let me know which one you're most excited about in the comment section below and i'll try to get to that one first other than that i'm going to get back to that good old day job and you can always catch me live on twitch at twitch.tv slash blind run which was currently changed or recently changed because well that's my gamer tag and i've actually been waiting for it on twitch for like seven years so i was pretty excited about it. links will be in the description 
make sure you come on by the discord and say hi and other than that i will see you next tuesday